Hello everyone, it's Zinia here from Abstract Inspiration and I'm back with another process video for shimmers and for this month I did another art journaling page and you'll see this one is actually very much different from what I'm used to do um, so far I really really enjoy experimenting with you new techniques and styles these days so I'm just playing around with different things and you'll see you'll see I'm just gonna uh, talk you through this process it's gonna be a bit longer than usual and you may notice that I kind of sped up this uh, start a little bit more than usual but it's just laying some color down to my background and I'm starting with some inklings and creamies in different colors around the teals and mints, not mints actually uh, but I was going for a minty color, that's why I used some teals and some yellow there actually this is like a lime, limey yellow greeny color I will have the names of all the colors in the corresponding blog post and I will have the link to that uh, in the description box below so if you're interested in the names for every single product used here you can just uh, check that out so once my first layer was down and you see it has that kind of glazing property and that's something I really really love about inklings and creamies so my next step is to add more layers and at this point I'm adding some of the acrotones and I'm mixing them together to make different colors here I'm actually mixing the two acrotones, the blue and white, and I'm also adding in a little bit of the blinks. And this won't really add any shimmer to the product because acrotones are matte finish, so they won't allow the shimmer of the blinks to come through. But I'm not adding it for the shimmer, I'm adding it for the texture because blinks have some chunky pieces of glitter in them. So when I mix them with the acrylics, they do create this um, beautiful texture. Also, when you dilute your acrylics with other products and with water, they tend to, um, you've kind of like adding, by adding a lot of water to your acrylic paints, you kind of break the binder uh, in a way. I'm not, sh I'm not sure exactly what's happening in there in a microscopic scale but when you really mix in some watery media in your acrylic products you break in those um, that, pro that, that piece that keeps everything together and you can get sort of like a crackle effect so you can really use that in your advantage so that's what I did here I really wanted to lay my color down very very textury so I intentionally diluted a lot of things and added a bunch of uh, water when it's not supposed to. And you see now that I'm scribbling through these, um, these thick layer of paint, that it makes those uh, weird lumps, the chunky uh, random lumps around the letters. And I really, really love that effect. I really wanted to do something that adds a lot of texture. And if you closely look at those uh, pink strokes some of them they do start breaking they really look like I use some sort of crackle paste but I really didn't and that's that feels very beautiful and magical you don't even need a crackle paste to create a crackle crackle looking effect so I added some uh, this dark teal acrylic ink because I really wanted something very uh, very bright and eye-catching to stand out on my background and help me just work around the shape of the elements I will add. So now I'm going in with my white acrotones and using it uh, to tone down some areas and add some highlights and although you see me covering a lot of things the colors really still show through and the texture is extremely rich and visible and you will be able to see it in the pictures in the end it, it will be very clear that uh, we are not really covering 
everything we did on the background we're basically just adding a different color on top of it all the texture is there all the brush strokes are still there and it's really really pretty so once that layer of white is well almost dry I'm going in with a stencil like a fun polka dot and I'm adding the halt the mustard pasties just to add a little bit of yellow I really wanted to introduce a new color so here I have this um, plastic palette I guess I added a piece of uh, not a piece a small blob of gesso and I'm mixing it the beautiful pinkadelic acrotones to create a really really pastel pink shade and again I'm going in and adding some more highlights mixing the colors um, and there's no there's nothing uh, very specific in my mind yet I just want to play around with the background lay some color until I'm happy with the way it looks and I really really like the way these pinks look with the mints and greens well they're not exactly greens more like a petrol teal color but they really complement each other beautifully now for my central uh, focal point I'm gonna doodle an actual little uh, illustration of a girl and that's again something I don't often do but it's a whole new world and I'm really trying to get into that and experimenting with the whole uh, illustrations I uh, think so I doodled it with some colored pencils and now I'm going in to do my coloring so the way I do this is I use the dark inklings I believe it is and I'm adding shadows and you will feel like you know that that color is really too harsh but it's not gonna stay like that I'm just laying down the shadows and I'm gonna work on top of them and blend everything together you'll see that in a second I'm also outlining the shape of the hair and for that I'm using a fairly light shade and again they won't stay whitish I just want a very light and uh, bright base so I can add other colors on top of it and they will stay true and shine nicely so I'm also painting white on the eyes and just adding some more highlights on the face and this very basic shading and highlighting with white and black well not black but darker color it's really gonna help me bring everything together very easily and fast and you'll see that in a second I'm gonna add color to the face uh, actually I'm gonna start with the hair here and I'm using a bunch of turquoises and teals actually instead of going for the same teals I use on my background I decided to layer some turquoise and blue with some yellow and that is you know when they layer on top of each other they create this beautiful minty color without being actually mint so that gives more dimension and not dimension more depth to the shading and the whole uh, coloring process here and you know right now it's it looks really bluish and that it doesn't match with the rest of the page but once all the colors are layered you'll see it really comes together beautifully and everything is going great with the background and the other elements on the page so that is for the hair for the face I'm using I believe it's creamies in cor coral reef I'm not 100% sure I will have the exact name on the blog post as I said but this is the perfect skin tone color so I mixed in with some gesso to create that kind of opaque opaque um, paint and here I'm, all, I'm using some gesso with the pinkadelic acrotones for her little dress and since that pink was a bit brighter than everything else I used on my background I used the same color to add some splatters around just to bring everything together and add some more of that pink to other areas 
and I'm gonna go back in and continue working on on the coloring uh, on the illustration there and it's really really uh, cute and fun and if you make a mistake it's so easy if you're working with acrylic media to just paint over it and cover everything and change the shape and the colors it's really um, not a big deal and you really shouldn't be afraid to go for it and try it doesn't have to be perfect it's just your original page and it's all about um, making it work for you and create something you love it's not for anybody to see if you don't want to so back to the page I got um, one of the shimmers paints and I'm adding some yellow splatters across the page just to match the polka dots and here we're getting to the final stage to um, I decided to finish off my illustration by adding some shading with uh, some markers and that is uh, kind of like so much faster and easier in my opinion and they really work amazingly with shimmers these markers are with India ink and they dry permanent but once you lay them down you have like a few seconds to smudge them around and especially because uh, the shimmers paints have sort of like a glossy uh, finish you have that you know tiny little bit of uh, extra period to work with the ink and as you see there you can just lay the ink down and water it down and create kind of like a wash but you can see how how fast and easy it is to add more shading there and I really like these colored shading colorful shading that's why I chose the markers and I'm also gonna finish uh, the eyes with some of the markers you see just little details here and there bring everything together and you know, just just this finishing touches are what uh, make every page special I believe and I really like that so I'm just working on the eyes a little bit. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy, just adding the eyeballs and the eyelashes. And I think I'm gonna also go in and add her eyebrows um, with a different color. I didn't want them to be black, so I just got this kind of brownish gray color, just as a lighter shade. And I'm also gonna add her lips <laughs> with the markers. And just because this uh, beautiful plum color was too distracting on the lips, I decided to do some mark making. So I used the same marker to add some X's and um, I'm also going to add a curvy line on the left side of the page just to bring in a little bit more of that color, you see there. And I'm also going to water this line down just to create a space for my journaling. So my very, very final touch is to go back to my white acrotones and add some big drips of color just to tone down some areas once again because I really like that, um, that whitewashed look and also I want to create some light areas for my journaling. So I'm adding it there and on the other bottom of the page and you see how simple it is I'm just uh, adding a blob of color spraying it with water spreading it again and then dripping it through the page and that's gonna finish the page I'm gonna let everything dry here and then I'm gonna go in with my uh, journaling pen and add a bunch of <laughs> words and I mostly add my journaling for the texture but um, I, I don't always make it very readable, but I really love the text, uh, the text texture I add. So that's the reason there. So if you want to check all the products used here, as I said, you can visit the corresponding blog post that they have in the description box below. And if you want to purchase any of the products I used here to recreate something similar or just to add some more beautiful products in your mixed media stash, 
make sure to add my name Xenia in the comments in the notes during the checkout process on the Shimmer's website and you can receive a free product and yeah I think that's really cool right so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you again very soon bye